Hello, my name is Garrett Allen, and to me, what a treasure is, is something that tells history. Something that also, that tells a history that basically you don't really know fully what happened and it leaves your mind a wonder of a story of how it was made or who it was given to and why it was given to somebody. I also believe that a treasure is something very valuable that everybody wants and that is my definition of a treasure. Hello, mate. This is a wonderful place to be. The Day Art Institute. A wonderful habitat for wonderful treasures like anyone you've ever seen. A lot better than gold. A lot better than money. It's just amazing. Now, come on. Let's go check out this wonderful piece of artwork called the Dragon. Called the Jaguar. It is a wonderful piece. And it's been here for over 40 years. Now, come on. Let's go. Good day, mate. All right, we're about to go ask somebody some questions about this wonderful habitat. See, we're going to ask them this question. Number one, we're going to ask them, why is a treasure so important? Number two, we're going to ask him, does he have any memories of the Dayton Art Institute? Now, come on, mate. Let's go interview this wonderful person. When your age, and uh, I remember animals. <laughs> Martin has done a phenomenal job setting up this exhibit, and he deserves great applause. Uh, so, uh, I remember animals. I remember bringing my sister down to art classes. I remember growing up and coming to Dayton Art Institute for concerts. I remember being with uh, a lot of friends. I've had some friends who work here and do uh, curatorial work. So I have lots of fond memories. Uh, some years ago, in 1992, I left the country. And when I left, this was the front door. Now it's the back door. So there have been a lot of changes while I was out of the country. So when I came back and moved back to Ohio, I thought, well, I came down to the Egypt exhibit, and the lady upstairs said, well, have you thought of volunteering? And I said, well, I guess I can do that. I have met so many wonderful people. You know, we have lots of paintings, sculptures, but you know what the real treasures are? The people like you. Thank you. And they had to stop me. And you, to see people's eyes light up because they see something beautiful. And that's the real treasure. So if we have this wonderful new exhibit of things that belong to the people of Dayton, Ohio, and the Art Institute, and I think it is a stunning exhibit. But the real fun thing is when we get kids from UD, Wright State, Cedarville, uh, Edison State, Stivers High School, you know, all these people who come in and make a discovery. That's what life is. It's a discovery. The treasure is making that discovery and having a memory. And so we hope all these beautiful things are, are meaningful to the people here. And it did used to be called the Gem City, and the Art Institute is one of the gems. Of Very beautiful. The so, and, and you can't have gems without people to appreciate them. And that's why we enjoy our customers, our patrons, and, and the people who come in to see us. This is wonderful. With wonderful people. So, thanks for asking me about it. You're welcome, sir. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Mike. That was just a wonderful interview on Mr. Chuck Williams. He is an amazing person that has been working at this habitat for wonderful treasures like the ones you see all around me. See, now we got to go check out the treasure that I came here to bring you to. Let's go. Wow, there you are, mates. A wonderful piece of treasure. She, she's been here for about 40 years. Since 1969, that's, that's what I say. And Mr. Hamanek and Mrs. Hamanek were generous enough to give her to the Dayton Art Institute. I find to say 
This is a nice habitat for her, being about 14 inches tall. And she's been around since about 400 A.D. or about 700 A.D. is about what they estimate. Now let's go take a closer look, mate. Wow, she's amazing. Ain't she a beaut? See, the best little dragon, she was made for people's grave, for a person's grave. But the thing that really catches your eye is, and the coils were really known for their ceramics. So how amazing could it be that the Dayton Art Institute is a habitat for one of the Nicoya ceramics. So amazing. These, I can't even have words for it. Well, mate, I got to say goodbye. It was a beautiful, nice thing to see, this nice little treasure. But I got to go spot more treasures. Matter of fact, Crockett, I think I see something that tries to catch my eye. And let me go catch up to